Hi guys, welcome back to FBW Gaming. Uh, I am your host, Flair, uh, co-host, Flair. Uh, next to me, as always, is uh, the other partner in crime, Biscuit. And then joining us today, uh, we've mentioned him a couple times over the course of a couple of our videos, uh, is Crash, uh, no. who is uh, signed on for this um, torturous experiment that we've been running with a new account. It, it, is it as torturous as, as we make it out to be sometimes? It's not that bad for me. I don't do much. <laughs> I log in when I get to work or in the morning when I wake up and then three times for energy and that's pretty much it. Much more than your the main account. But anyways, um, Crash is a long-term player, um, but we'll, we'll let him kind of do his own little intro spiel. Um, Crash, let people know kind of how long you've been playing, you know, where where you're at in terms of like the game, Reliance War, stuff like that. Um, things that would kind of help you maybe uh, identify where you're at. So looking at my information here on the game, I'm 967 days played. I am um, 8.958 million TCP. I will be 9 million as soon as I upgrade a couple of people. As far as Alliance, I am um, the Alliance leader actually of um, an alliance called Protector of the Nine Realms. We are, I guess, technically affiliated with the Casino Alliance. Gold 4 in war. We do U7.5 at 60, 70, 80% every single day. And then we're doing um, Greek 4.1, I, I think right now is what we're doing. We've, we hit 100% on, on those, but not really pushing the higher ones until we kind of build up some of those teams especially in like gammas you know we we have a requirement for when we everybody's required to do eight attacks prefer to do 10. I mean, we'll, we'll just go ahead and jump right into it so you've got um you and and you shared this in our the discord server that that biscuit runs um where most of us do a lot of the talking so um we've got five that we're gonna cover and this is kind of all pre um None of these tiers are related to gear 13 or any gold gear whatsoever. Um, and, and I think, I think you and I can both agree on, on this methodology is that, um, your gold gear really goes to characters that either a are your dark dimension characters or like your characters that you're running constantly in arena or high end content that need the gear. Am, am I right in that assumption? Yes. So like I put I took symbiotes all to thirteen for for ultimus raids, but I don't use them all the time. But I use them in that that specific, and they get their value out of it. But everything else is like dark dimension or black a uh, black order. So, um, but yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and get started with these. So the first one, crash is level twenty, gear tier four, two 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 one. Uh, what's the the use or the purpose of like a tier like this? Comes down to what do the numbers allow you to do? Ultimately, level twenty. The the nice thing about level twenty is it unlocks that passive because you can take them to gear tier four. Mm -hmm. So gear tier four unlocks at eighteen, and so that allows you to unlock the passive, which has. A whole lot of abilities that are, are you know kind of key to their teams it brings a whole new element to most characters uh to unlock that passive so what it what that does as well is that lets you kind of max out your green material so level 20 lets you do your basic your special and your ultimate to the the green level you only get to one level for special and ultimate anyway so you kind of max that out uh, gear tier four maxes out your green gear, which you generally have a lot of in the early game, even if you're not farming it, right? Mm -hmm. So it, it just kind of, it, it gets you done with the green gear. And because it makes your abilities a little bit stronger and it gives you that passive ability, it actually takes what would be a character that just sits at level one and completely useless in blitz um, and makes it a team that can win up to tier two, maybe tier three, depending on your your synergy so and yeah so this is these are characters that you know you don't use regularly at all they're only for blitz mm -hmm. um i'm thinking like ravager hand in some scenarios now some people build hand further for catalyst of uh for the the relic hunt event but a lot of people just kind of leave them at low gear, gear levels right now because they don't worry about that event at this point in time level 30 gear tier six three 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 one 
Yeah, so level level 30, what that does is that unlocks, again, gear tier 6. So what that's why you go to gear tier 6. And then level 30 allows you to start putting your... Uh, obviously, you got your blue gear going uh, to level uh, level or sorry, gear tier five, gear tier six, and then level thirty allows you to get to the the next level of that special. And all thirty is when you're going to start actually investing in people, or you you know that they're in in good war teams, they're in good blitz teams, so you can go ahead and, and start putting a little bit of blue gear in them as you acquire it. But not, but you're not over investing is is the biggest thing, and that that's that's the kind of the biggest thing that that I like the stopping points. Next is forty five gear tier eight, uh, five four four three. This is about where I actually take a lot of. So if I have a if I have a full team finally put together, they usually will go to this tier personally um, before I start deciding to go further. So this, and, and so 45 is exactly what 20 was. Um, 20, again, was you invest your green gear and then you're done. So 45 is literally you invest all your blue gear and then you're done. So with 45, you've maxed out your um, your basic, your all four of your abilities with the, the blue uh, T3 abilities, and you've gotten them to gear tier eight which then, you know, as you start doing gear tier nine, still has probably a couple of blue pieces, but you're getting into that purple gear, which I can sit here and tell you is still a grind. It's important not to, again, you know, just overinvest in people that don't need it. Go back to our alt account, right? So what I have done, let me look it up here. I have, obviously we've talked about the wave one and that we are given a wave one Avengers team, right? Mm -hmm. to begin the game and so what i have done is i have upgraded my wave one avengers team uh, to to this level and what that has allowed me to do is i have completely beaten three star all through hero six and then i was working on nexus today just to see kind of as far as i could get i have three starred all the way to nexus five four with just that investment level of wave one. instead of continuing to invest in those teams and sure there, there are teams that are are characters that are great on that right thor is going to be incredible on the asgard why build thor now when he's not really going to do me a whole lot more good than what i need him to you know what he's going to get me a few more blitz points they might get me you know a little bit higher in arena but I'm not able to hit that top 500 right now in arena and I'm easily staying in the top 1500, which is the next tier. So why invest in a team when I don't have to? Um, and the next one is a popular one. I think most creators and most people in the community will, will regard this as like the stopping point for mm -hmm. any character in the game at, at, until you are for sure, for sure, going to go beyond this one. Um, and it's 60 gear tier 10 6664 yeah and, and this is the and the gear tier kind of adjust based on on what you want to do um because it's 60 you know i've seen some people say nine um i've seen some people say 11 because you can go all the way to 11 if you mm -hmm. want um but 60 the biggest thing about 60 is um just like the progression points of 20 and 45 60 lets you finish out so if you if you're wanting to take a bunch of teams up to this again i don't recommend that unless you are trying to get um, a lot of war teams online really quick then like a, and if you're able to crank out some u6 and if you've got one really good raid team let's say and your alliance can crank out u6 or even one of the higher difficulties of u6 then you're going to be getting enough uh, of those T4s that you can start cranking out teams pretty quick. If I remember right, we'll have to check the math, uh, but it's been a while since I've done it. I believe if you do U6.0 every single day, even if you place last, I I'm fairly confident that you get enough T3s that you can upgrade one character every week. Five, it, it, four, I know, four, I, I know the numbers two, because two. I've done them so many times. It's 720 t3 ability mats to take them from um five from five four four, 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 four three two. to six four 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 yeah and and i believe you get like 700 
Captain 15 or something like that. Something like that. Um, and then, obviously, if you complete any nodes, then you get some as well. So you, you get at least that 720 uh, T3s to take one character up every single week. And then, obviously, the, the higher difficulty you're doing, the more you get. Mm -hmm. And that's my suggestion, too. When, when you... When you get to that point, when you're doing U6 constantly and you actually have enough ability materials to, to take people to this level and, you know, the gear to take people up, um, pick a team and then pick again, like Flair said, the kind of the pillars first and then move them up and then move the whole team up, you know, and, and if you're and if you're doing it a team at a time and, and you get to a point where you're like, well, all my good teams are, are 6664, what do I do now? Well, then you wait till you have enough. As long as you are... are, are are careful with it and, and just don't want to and, and like so sorry training materials that's what we we're going for so i've never run out and i feel like it's because i've stuck to to these numbers fairly well and i've i've never moved people up just to move people up unless i'm moving an entire team up um so that that that's helped me and but because it is a, a new game a new player issue and 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 you are kind of pressured to to build so many people so quickly it's gonna be an issue you have so it's just something you've got to be extremely mindful of the the training material is the main reason why you need to follow and stop and then the last one um and this is um someone i i, I do partial of uh i don't know I, I don't i don't i don't do this one completely as much but uh this is kind of the um up to the point of no gold gear uh 71 gear tour 12 6664 yeah i like this one so this is this is what i'm doing with my roster right now um so like i said we're in the end game right we're in, we're in high gold four so we're fighting all kinds of of high level opponents uh if i i'm sick and tired of fighting 600 700k emeralders of black orders but that that's neither here nor there um but what this does is this helps me take my war teams, particularly my offensive teams, up, you know, 50, 80 K. Um, and it also gets them done with the purple material. Um, and, and so the reason, uh, obviously gear tier 12 gets you done with the purple, it gets you ready to put them into orange. And so as, and, and if you, and again, if you have a, yet another stopping point and, and you decide only to take your dark dimension characters your arena characters and if your raid characters don't overlap with those you know maybe the handful of those that, that go up if you only give them orange gear then it allows you to be able to adjust and manipulate your future dark dimension so i i've been again a very big stickler with this i have very few characters that even have any orange gear on and so because of that, as of this moment right now, I can take any, you can pick one character, doesn't matter who it is, I can take them to gear tier 14 right this second because I have that much material saved. Um, because again, I, I just, I, I use these stopping points. And because of that, what I'm able to do is Ghost is a new character and she's gonna be going into DD4 for me whenever I get to 80, which is not terribly far away. Mm -hmm. um and and i've already you know ex with the exception of the gear tier 15 pieces i'm that i'm still working on I, i'm ready to go and um you know so and another thing that i the, about this level that is nice that maybe some people aren't thinking about is you want to get to 70 that way you can invest your t-force mm -hmm. the reason i like 71 is for some reason from 70 to 71 you get a large jump in resistance and focus Mm -hmm. I, I believe it's like a 40 to 50 percent jump depending on the characters more for the characters that really rely on the focus and resistance am i correct on that one i mean sure i'm taking like i said I, i'm taking all of my mm -hmm. uh work offensive teams up to that level just to give it to them um because ultimately the the resistance is a big deal too so i imagine eventually we'll start seeing um There'll probably eventually be a, a decision by the community on what what happens because when you go from 75 to 80 there's a jump in um somewhere between 75 and 80 you start seeing this huge um health and damage um boost and so probably just seeing where that where that delineates gotcha. that may end up becoming a new threshold 
I've, I've moved some people up there, um, like I said, in, pre in preparation for DD4, but I kind of didn't pay attention to that. Um, I know, like, I think it's 73 to 74 and 74 to 75 give another resistance focus boost um, as well going up there. But those, but that kind of comes back to the training mass, right? It, it'd be great to take everybody up to 75 to get as, ma you know, if the only. maximum amount of stuff that you can, but you can't, you know? Mm -hmm. You've got to be careful. So you, you you might as well save that 71 or 75. You might as well save that eight, uh, 80 for those DD3, DD4 characters. Well, that is all five of the tiers. Um, any any kind of closing thoughts? Any any kind of additional things regarding like these stopping points and whatnot um, before we close? Not really. I, I just, I, I like I said, I've, I've been kind of a stickler on this. If uh, if you're, if people are interested, I, I've, I've got all of my entire roster saved into uh, msf.gg that um, Biscuit is free to, you know, post on the, the website and, and share with you guys. So it, it, it's, and it's worked for me and, and I've shared it with some people and, and you know what, it's worked for them too. And it's allowed, you know, a several of, uh, at least a couple of my guys in my alliance have followed the advice too. And, and they've said that, that they've been able to, you know, do what they needed to do when they needed to do it because they haven't overinvested in people they didn't need to. You get these characters and you know they're good. So you guys have, have seen it. Um, so Scream is is a great character. She's on one of the best teams in the game currently. But uh, I've pulled her twice now out of a Mega Orb on the alt account that we are running. And yet she's still level 20. Not because she's not a great character, but because until I have the full symbiote team online, she's not that good. At the end of the video, like, subscribe, uh, thumbs up, all the other things, YouTube things, man. I'm so I'm having to, we're having to get used to YouTube things again.